I'm very happy to be a part of the Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital Pediatric Cardiology Group. I do find my job very fulfilling and very happy to, to play my part in the diagnosis and treatment of the kids who uh, come through here. My father is actually, he's an adult cardiologist and growing up I really wanted nothing to do with medicine. But then going into undergrad, I majored in psych, but also took the pre-med uh, prerequisites and just decided that the science route was more what I wanted to do and uh, become a doctor. I found that pediatrics, that was my favorite age group to work with. I mean, how often can you talk with, about uh, Avengers and uh, Cartoon Network with your patients without, without it seeming completely weird? <laughs> You can either be a general pediatric cardiologist, which um, you'll see patients in the hospital, you'll see patients in clinic, but then there's other subspecialty training you can do. You can be a cath doctor, an EP doctor, an imaging doctor, and I found that I really enjoyed performing the echoes and interpreting them. Medicine in general, but especially pediatric cardiology, has gotten more so toward the village mentality as opposed to the solo practitioner who could do who could do cath, who could even assist in surgery way back, uh, way back when. Now it's great to have the interdisciplinary team here. We have our usual meetings on Thursdays. We talk about the patients and um, show all the different kinds of imaging. So it could be CT, could be MRI, could be cath, could be echo, and use all of that to make a collective decision for what's best for the patient. Joe DiMaggio Children's really offers everything from a pediatric cardiology standpoint. We have all of the main specialties, cardiac cath, EP, imaging, heart failure, uh, under one roof and one, and one hospital. My specific area is MRI. So again, when you have those bad echo windows or you want a true number of how dilated is the right ventricle or how, how much of a flow is going this way versus this way, MRI can tell you all of that and uh, can also really assist in surgical planning in terms of measuring outflows. So deciding, hey, should we do a cardiac cath and put a valve in that way versus, well, or do they automatically have to go to surgery? It is interesting to absolutely not wanting anything to do with medicine to here I am as a pediatric cardiac imaging doctor. It's been a great journey and I'm very happy to be here.